Yo, you want to see the full process on how I created this hat? Let's talk about it. Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you got to do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Fat Man Scoop, Big Brando. Let's go. Sad and everybody, boy Big Brando, and today I'm gonna walk you start to finish through creating a hat from the very beginning. Meaning everything from getting the file to the machine, to setting up the machine, to running the machine, to cleaning up the hat, getting it ready for retail. Full start to finish using my Rakoma MT1501. So if you wanna see what it takes to run a hat, let's get started. All right, check it out. I'm gonna try to walk you guys through the whole process right here. So whenever you receive a file from the digitizer, it's gonna come with all these files right here. First file you're gonna to wanna to look at is this PDF. So this PDF right here is gonna actually tell you how the stitch is gonna lay out, what order the stitch is gonna be in, how many stitches it's gonna take. This little sheet right here is very, very crucial to every embroidery job. So as you can see, we got the Hawaiian Islands right here. This is gonna be a 3D puff. So after you look at that, you know how you're gonna set up your file. You're gonna take this DST file right here and that's what the machine's gonna read. I have a thumb drive plugged in right now. I'm just gonna add that to the list here. And then we're gonna take it over to the machine. All right, here we are at the machine. I just plugged in the USB drive. Come up here to file. We're gonna go to the USB drive. We're gonna look for our islands. There it is. Transfer to machine. See this little arrow It's pointing at the machine. We wanna transfer it from the USB drive to the machine. We're gonna put it in the root folder, bingo. Now we're gonna to go to the machine and we're gonna locate the file that we just put in here. So this is keeping a log of every single DST file that we put into the machine. We got about 10 pages worth. Here it is, island, bingo. That's the one we wanna select, okay. Now it's loaded up. All right, next thing we're gonna do is select the thread. So we're gonna click this little thread up here we want white, that's set up for number eight. We're gonna press eight, and then we're gonna press eight again. So the reason why we're doing it twice is because one is just gonna lay down the base stitch over the foam, and then the next one is gonna be the actual stitching. So we press okay. Now, since we're gonna be stitching on a hat, we're gonna to wanna to select the hat hoop, go into design set, and then we're gonna press cap. Down here is the hat hoop, press that, okay. Machine's gonna get set up for the hat hoop. And then we're also gonna put this on auto auto. Right now it's on auto manual. So that's gonna, it's gonna run and then it's gonna stop and then it's gonna allow us to put down the foam, go again. We're gonna set the foam up from the very beginning. So we're gonna put it on auto auto. So that way we lay the foam down, starts the first stitch and then it's just gonna run all the way through. All right, now that we got everything set up, so we're gonna lock the machine now. Ready to go. All right, now we're gonna come over here, pick up some hats. We're gonna be using a black snapback. These are made by Otto. Just to run a few of these samples. Here it is right here. All right, now let's hoop this thing. Unbuckle the snaps. Fold the sweatband out, and you're gonna put the sweatband underneath this little tab right here. I like to line up the center of the hat with the little notch on the tab. Hold that down. You're gonna bring over the strap and buckle it in. Hat's ready to go. Place it into the machine. Snap it in place. All right, now that we got it loaded up, I'm gonna hold the press foot down and I'm gonna trace the area where it's gonna be stitched. Trace looks good, so now I'm gonna lay the foam down. I'm gonna hold it down with two pieces of tape. It's gonna lay the foam. Tape and tape this side down. 
Now, press start. push down on these little buttons right here. There's three all the way around this thing. Hit them, spin it, pull the hat off. There it is. All right, now that we got it off of there, we're gonna take the binder clips off. Remember I was telling you there's binder clips on both sides. Pull those off and we're gonna peel off the foam here. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of loose threads hanging off on there. We're gonna take our little scissors here, start cutting off a lot of this loose thread. All of this is just the cleanup work that comes with doing embroidery. Take this little brush, brush away a lot of that loose thread. There you go. Now, last thing you can do is take your heat gun. This heat gun right here is gonna tighten up all the thread, shrink down the foam and make everything nice and clean. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you have it, finished product. All right, now to recap. The hats we used, auto six panel structured snapbacks. These are snapbacks, they have a gray underbill, these are six panel snapbacks right here. They're made out of acrylic and wool. Now, the machine we used is my Rakoma MT1501. Remember, 15 needles, single head. 1501, 15 needles. That means 15 spools of thread on top, single head. Means you can only stitch one thing at a time. The foam we use is three millimeter foam. You can find this on Amazon. If you looked up craft foam or embroidery foam, you could find this in different sizes. I use three millimeter. I find it to be the best and look the best for what I'm going for. I know a lot of people want to use five millimeter because they want it to be extra puffy. Three millimeter works perfect for me. So you can find that on Amazon. Just look up craft foam or any embroidery supply site will sell embroidery foam. Also, we didn't put any stabilizer on the back because this is a structured hat. So I don't use stabilizer on structured hats. Here's the needles that I use. These are the titanium 8012 needles. They're made by Groves Becker. I don't know if you could see that. I don't think the camera's focusing in on it, but they're made by Groves Becker. G-R-O-Z Becker. These are the titanium needles that I use for structured hats. Thread I use looks like this. It's called Super B or Superb, and it's a polyester 40 thread. You can find this on Amazon. The reason I buy these off Amazon because I like the next day shipping. They're usually anywhere from like $4 to $8 per spool that look like this. So once again, this is Super B or Superb. And that's about it. If you're looking for blank hats, I order these auto caps directly from auto. You know where I order my needles from. You know where I order my thread from. You know where I order my foam from. Hopefully this video right here made a lot of sense to you out there. Cause I know there's a lot of people that always wanna see the start to finish. So this is everything from loading up the design, pooping the hat, stitching the hat, cleaning up the hat, getting it ready for retail. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments for me. Follow me on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.